going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel and today's video. It's been a little bit, I must admit. I've taken a little bit of a pause in making videos since the uh, PBIR video. So first things first, before we start anything, I need you to hit the link above and check out the Break Bank video which just came out, which was the project I've been talking about on the channel for quite some time now that has been you know, coming out over time. So that is the July 4th Drift HQ Drift event that I tagged along with Breakbank, as well as Chase Wesley, AKA Close the Gap. We had a ton of fun, made a really cool, or I think a really cool project documentary kind of thing about Breakbank, about their journey to the July 4th Drift event. So I'd really appreciate it. Breakbank would appreciate it. Everybody would appreciate it. If you go and check that out, once again, great time making it. Learned a ton from Chase. So big thanks to Chase for being patient with me. And, uh, and also teaching me a ton about this style of uh, video because I've never done anything like that. So it's definitely a first. Now that that's out of the way, let's get inside and I can show you guys what we've worked on over the past few uh, weeks. And yeah. take a moment now to look over the little dumb things I've done so first of all I finally wrapped the uh, fenders or attempted to wrap them I did a decent job I'll say and the wrap matches the paint decently well but uh, you know I'm clearly not a professional as you can see <laughs> there's some really bad parts to it but for the most part it pretty much has that full figure look now so I'm really, really stoked on it. Uh, the only other thing besides getting the emblems on and wrapping the fenders is on the rear from the last event at PBIR, we totally screwed up one of the stock studs. And because I screwed up the stock stud, I literally could not get the spacer off. So the last session of PBIR, I had a 20 mi 25 mil spacer on plus the bigger wheels, which made it that much more difficult to drift. And that's why that session was tough. but. Spent some time finally getting that off, bought some new wheel spacers, so we are all good for today if we do want to run them. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's uh, The car feels better than it ever has. And if you guys don't remember, last year we struggled tremendously at this event. It was our first three-day event, and now this will be our third one. So I'm ready to rip it and uh, hopefully get some redemption for last year. Oh, and uh, by the way, we are tenting up with brake banks, so that's pretty sick. Gonna be able to hang out with the big boys today. I didn't mention John is drifting this event. So he's here doing it up. And uh, we're gonna be catching one of his first runs here. He's gotten some warm up ones. I don't know how he's doing, but we'll, hopefully we don't embarrass him. I think he's doing well. into our first session of the day slash night. Uh, so we're gonna run some solo laps initially, and then uh, we will be tandeming with Mr. Gabriel, who we've driven with before. It's very cold out and it's very wet out. So it's literally like ice out there right now. But I think overall, I really wanna throw the car a little harder this weekend after PBIR.
who is the first person we ever tandem with, or one of the first, him and Kevin. This will be pretty fun to get some runs in with them. Hopefully I can do the same for him and also just not fuck up generally. Generally speaking, just lay down a good lead run for him, hopefully. Gabriel back there. Dude, there's some points you literally can't see anything. They're, we're testing out new lights tonight and like it's pretty good for the front part but the rear section needs some lights for sure. Alright guys, I think this is going to be our last lap. Uh, we're going to finish it out following Gabe. I'm going to give him some space uh, just because he's having a little bit of issues with rubbing right now. He's running like fucking huge tires up front. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I don't like encroach on him too much just in case. Have trusted him a little bit more there but just want to make sure you know we have a safe nice weekend ahead of us you know what i'm saying there's always tomorrow we do have a full day of drifting tomorrow hopefully he's still in b class with me but he is trying to move up to a so we'll see what happens Yo!
like mad sketchy though, I must admit, entering like that. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that, but I keep doing it because like I feel it in the wheel speed, like it's there. So like I just go for it, but it's kind of a dangerous thing to do. And uh, yeah, cause you're entering kind of right along the wall there. If you straighten out, you might get, you know, you might catch yourself right into that wall. Somebody I don't know, and that's a Mustang, isn't it? It's a Mustang. Yeah, sorry. No offense, but it's a Mustang. You know, I don't know him. <laughs> guy behind me but I, I've never driven with you I don't I, sorry I was told by many great people in drifting who I love very dearly they have a saying uh, it's no rando tandos very eloquent but totally no offense to him but I hope yeah I hope you all understand too you don't just drive with somebody you don't know I mean some people do that's their own uh, you know Everybody's got their prerogative, right? But, or I don't even know if that's the right term. But yeah, for me, it's like, I really like planning it out. I like making sure I'm careful about who I'm driving with. Because I think that's ultimately what keeps me safe and keeps the car safe. So, I think that's a big reason why we haven't had any crashes is everybody I've driven with, I know and I trust and I've seen drive, I've watched drive and yeah. So, that was a sick day. That was a fucking good day really good day glad i got some tandies with gabe hopefully we get some more tomorrow and hopefully we get the tandem with trevor tomorrow too so until then 